In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus NaOH. This is barium chloride, this is sodium hydroxide. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations is write the balanced molecular equation. So this is our molecular equation up here. And to balance it, it looks like we have two Cl's, put it to here, to here, and that's balanced. So we've balanced our molecular equation. Then we need to write the states. This is a chloride here. When we have chlorides, those are usually soluble. And then sodium hydroxide is a strong base. That's soluble. Uh, barium hydroxide. Let's look this up on a solubility table. So here's our solubility table. And we find barium right here. And then hydroxides right here. So we go over to where it meets. And we see there's an S there. So that's soluble. So that means it'll dissolve in water. That's going to be aqueous as well. And then sodium chloride, again, chloride's very soluble. That'll be aqueous too. So we have all of the states for each one of the compounds here in our equation. At this point, we should really pause and think about what's happening here. These compounds are all dissolved in water, as are these. So everything here is soluble. So there's no precipitates, there's no gases or anything like that formed. So really, there's no reaction here happening. All of the ions here are dissolved in water, and they're all dissolved in water on this side. They're all just sitting there, so no change really happened. If you look at the ions, they look like this. So these are our reactants, and these are our products. When we went to cross out the spectator ions, we have barium in the reactants and the products, we have two chlorines here in the products, two sodium ions here, two sodium ions here, two hydroxide ions, and then two more. There's no reaction. So that's the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus NaOH, barium chloride plus sodium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.